Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas with myself Nuxy1 and today we are outside the Silver Rush again uh, with Arcade because we need to just get him something while we're in here so let's go do that That's a lot of energy weapons Brings back some interesting memories Err? Memories of what? Oh, um, uh, of hearing stories about energy weapons, they're Pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to do. This pile of ash is still here. But all the all the bodies have disappeared. Very interesting. Anyway, I don't know where we're going today. I thought we'd just have a little sort of like start the game up, see what's going on. I'm well prepared for today. I've got my uh wheatgrass smoothie. So I'm being super healthy. But yeah, I'm not sure where we're gonna go. So let's go. Uh, let's go to data. Check out quests. Uh, I really want to do Old World Blues, but if I do that now, I'm sort of rushing through the DLC, and I don't want to do that. So, um, let's let's go do these. Let's do. Uh, Michelangelo wants. Pictures of famous signs around New, Ze uh, New Zealand, New Vegas. Sunset Sarsaparilla Headquarter Bottle Sign. So that we can do quite easily. And McCarran Airfield. Yeah, okay, right. We're going to go do the uh, photograph mission. So, where's... Yeah, we'll go here first. Unfortunately, we still haven't got enough lucky stars to go see Festus. But that's fine. So, he wants the Sunset Sarsaparilla sign, does he? Well, let's provide... Oh yeah, and also, while I was having a little wander around, uh, there was there was this guy, I can't remember what his name was, I think it was Little Buster, and he was dead on the train tracks in Freeside, and apparently he had a unique weapon on him called the Cram Opener. This thing. Um, I think it's just a, like a Deathclaw fist or whatever. Um... Or maybe not even that, but... Uh, yeah, it's a unique, so... I'll take it. I wasn't... Fi unfortunately, I didn't film me uh, picking up that off Little Buster because I was watching videos at the same time and to uh, sort all that faff out. I'm sure you guys can just... Can just... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Forgive me. That's the one. I'm sure you guys can forgive me. Is that right? Yeah, that's the right one. For... Uh, I'm sure you can forgive me for... Uh, Missing one unique item, do you know what I mean? Out of all the other ones that we've been to together. Novak! He wants the Dino D light here, doesn't he? Hmm. Quest, take a picture of Novak's dinosaur thermometer. Okie dokie, Dane. Is it a thermometer? I thought it was just a sign. Oh, no, it is a thermometer. Well, there you go, job done. Return to Michelangelo for your reward. Let's go check out what he's got to say. He is in Vegas, so... Oh, I see. So you can... Because they've got the monorail at Camp McCarran, and we are going to go do some NCR missions. Uh, that's why that's there like that. Okay, okay. Okay. And I'm, I kind of want to get one of the strip and all the robots as well, so... I don't actually know what happens to these photos, but I imagine if I was a tourist in Vegas, that is definitely something I'd take a photograph of. Um... And then we're going to go back to the anti-material rifle. Yay. I don't know if I told you guys last time as well, I bought Sleepy Time. It's one of the guns you can buy from the gun runners. No worries, Mr. Robot. That's very kind of you. Um, so I've now got Sleepy Time, which is a full auto uh, holdout weapon, which is excellent. Excellent goodness. So uh, we'll use that in the casinos if we uh, need to defend ourselves. Now, where are we going? We're going to Michelangelo, aren't we? None of the sewers in Vegas are openable. I think that would have been interesting, having like a second, uh... Well, easy. 
Easy there, mate. Um, it would have been interesting having a second entrance to Vegas, like one that, like a smuggler's tunnel or something that's like in the sewers or maybe a back door that not many people know about. Finally, I had to let her out. Oh! I'm starting to learn all those jokes, which is kind of irritating. I've spent far too much time in this area of Vegas. This guy's is shady. I think he's the crier for this uh, this uh, casino. Yeah, top promoter. Sorry, I'm here to have a good time, not talk to random people. Oh, so this is the hotel that Benny's at. Don't worry, we'll get our just revenge on him soon enough. It's like this area seems to be sort of just like. Like, I reckon Mr. House could have quite happily closed off that section of Vegas, do you know what I mean? Like, and just had it at the one entrance down at the front. So, this is kind of crazy. Hello! Almost out of caps. Well, that's because you gamble. What about you, traveller? Let's go find Michelangelo. Oh, there goes the shaky walk. I have no idea what causes that. Oh. Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Hello. I have some fresh pictures for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. 750 caps seems like an awful lot. I took all the pictures you wanted. There was something about a reward? You have earned it, my friend. Oh, sweet. Now I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Okay. The Strip. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. How about uh, you? The brave photographer returned. Oh, can you... Oh. Oh, is that it? Is that the only mission you've got for me? Oh, we've done enough exploring around here. Let's not, eh? You got any missions? Excuse me, but I'm busy. Excuse me, but fuck you. Oh, hello, Katie. Hey, it's you. Michelangelo told me about your photographs. I hope to see the world one day like you do. You should come with me. What's this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there too, sure, but he's the real artist. Oh. How long have you worked here, Kate? I've been here over a year now. Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. I'm out of here. Bye. See you later, you crazy hippie chick. That mentality I don't think can work in the wasteland. Like, I need to go out there and spread peace and love. What? To the rad scorpions? And the Death Claws, and the Yalgwai, and the Raiders. Just, it's not, it's not a great... Oh. I like the Courier's approach. Yeah, he takes sides in any situation, and yeah, you can be good karma, bad karma, neutral karma, but at the end of the day, you're still a bit of a dick, aren't you, really? Like, the Courier is still... Like, uh, oh, I, I can't really spoil anything about going to the, without going to the Divide, so we'll talk, we'll have this conversation... Uh, when I... Where the fuck is Camp McCarran? There we go. When I, uh, get to... Uh, when I get to the Divide. But we're not going there. Not any time soon, anyway. Right, let's go into Camp McCarran and see if they've got any NCR missions for us. I do love me some NCR missions. But I don't know who I could ask. I think Major Major Dartry, after he gives you the uh, the three card bounty, I think they all up and move to Forlorn Hope, but I could be wrong. Hey, you there! You got a mission for me, Boris? I'm doing the best with what he's got, but man, I could go for a nice cut of Brahmin steak. Farber? Who's Farber? Is he like a cook? I hear you took care of Motor Runner. I could have handled that on my own. And I can handle you on my own, so, uh, Trump's bitch. Where is this cook geezer, then? You're just into your trooper. And where's the geezer who I can re requisition all this shit off of? Hey, do you want to see something funny? Uh, where is it? Yeah, look. That's Brotherhood of Steel T-41B or T-51B armor. 
No faction bonus, even when he puts the helmet on, so he can wear that armor, no problem. How cool is that? Oh. I don't ex <coughs> <coughs> This might just be me. But I don't expect an awful lot of target practice to take place at the, uh... What? Flint? I can't do fuck all with the flint, but I want it. Oh, lad's life. Yeah, um... You can hear him shooting stuff off in the background. Is there any forceps here? Oh my god, give me forceps. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm never going to find forceps. I think they're just like a joke item in this fucking game, to be honest with you. I'm never going to be able to make my super cosmic knife. Anyway, what was I prattling on about? Yeah, target practice. Isn't that like a waste of ammunition? But I suppose in Vegas it's less... In the uh, capital wasteland, I feel like it was a waste. Unless you were using, like, stuff that had abundant ammo. Whereas over here, the gun runners seem to take an awful lot of care of the ammunition supply in the local area. And I do feel kind of bad after finding out about uh, Rose of Sharon Cassidy's caravan getting destroyed via the means of the Crimson Caravan Company. And I feel kind of shitty that I've now... Via the Crimson Caravan, I went off and uh, I went and got the Gunrunner schematics. I don't think I should have done that. I think maybe uh, that was a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit harsh towards the Gunrunners, considering I kind of want to. I wish they were their own faction. All right, what do you need? Uh, nothing. I don't think. See you later. Yeah. Is does this guy have anything? You all right, dickhead? Yes. Something else you needed? Oh uh, no. Okay. Hildern is a good example of oh. a picture obsession gone too far. At some point, he became so fixated on large-scale results that he lost the concept of the common good along the way. It's an inhumane kind of public service when people and the basic resources they need become numbers in a ledger. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure... Hmm... Mm. I'm sure he means well, but he doesn't do well. So good thing there are still people like you around, Arcade. Kind of you to say, but there are better people than me around here. I just hope the followers can make a difference in the long run. Huh. Well, I didn't know we had to come to Hilden, but there you go. I'm looking for NCR missions while I'm in here. I was kind of hoping he'd send me off to another vault. Why is the Sunset Sasper... This isn't even a Sunset Sasperilla machine. This looks like a, a cigarette vending machine. A vending machine, new cola. Hello? Oh! That's, uh, is it Kimball? I think it's Kimball. Anders showed up here not too long ago. I'm told you're the one who got him out of the vault. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh... I can't tell you how relieved I am. Sending him on that mission was a mistake. Colonel James Shue, okay. I don't understand how you could be co so careless with the life around you. You did the right thing. If you'd sent more, they'd have been killed. You didn't have a choice. You didn't have a choice. The fiends were a growing threat. That's probably true. But I wonder if I should have taken a different strategy entirely. Although my options were certainly limited with most of our forces tied up garrisoning this place. Regardless, what you did for Anders isn't something he or any of us around here take lightly. We're all glad to have him back. Thank you. Man, I almost forgot about that, but you are welcome. I'm here to provide support. I'm up for hire if you need some extra manpower around the base. Oh, finally! Motor runner is dead. I bought his helmet as proof. Unbelievable. That man has given us so much grief since we set up here. This is a major turning point for us. I can't tell you how many times we thought we'd taken him out, only to have him show up again later, taking more heads off of fallen troopers. This is for the bounty. And this is from a pool me and a lot of the soldiers around the base had going. You may not be NCR, but hey, it's only fair. I like the idea that the NCR were having such huge problems with Motor Runner that they actually had like a pool going, like they had a pool of funds going, so that if any of the troopers sort of killed Motor Runner and got his head, then they'd be able to, that would, that would be awesome, like, uh, bounty, it's basically bounty hunting, but legal NCR bounty hunting. Uh, what challenges does the NCR face here? Everything was going according to President Kimball's plan. Yeah, it's first. Kimball. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the strip and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Um. 
Are things mostly quiet between here and the dam? Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. That might be a mission. What's Camp McCarran's role in NCR operations? I thought it was like the central hub for NCR in the region, wasn't it? It's our main base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip. And it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Okay. How are things going for the NCR around here? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. I was going to say, how the hell would NCR have annexed New Vegas? Like, not with Mr. House running things the way he is. I think the three families plus the Protectrons would have had something to say about that. Like, yeah... NCR have got a base in Vegas, and yeah, NCR are like the majority of people who spend time in Vegas. But really, if House wanted to, he could just kick them out. If they were like, oh, we're going to annex. No, we're just going to get rid of your building and kick all the NCR out. Like, we don't need you, basically. So, I think the NCR need a massive amount of numbers before they take on the Strip. But, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping to put NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel in power, so we'll see what happens. Where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the Strip and the Dam at the same time. And it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Uh, you seem calm, given that things are as bad as they are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might be able to do to help with? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance. <laughs> no. Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. That, that's a good mission, the prisoner talking one. Uh... Yeah, I bet I can make Destiny Losis stepping up to the plate. I bet I can make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. There's a molly, a molly, molly, molly. Yeah, there's a leak. Oh shit! I wish I could look into leaking NCR intelligence. Mm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. That's it. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Okay, well that sounds like something we should do on the next episode. But I am definitely going to go check out... Um, is it Lieutenant Boyd was interrogating? Or have I just got that completely messed up? Yeah, no, we want to go speak to the woman about interrogating the uh, Caesar's Legion dude. So we'll go check that out. Is this are you? Hello? Boyd's in there with a prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Boyd's in there with a prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Can I just go straight in? Yeah. Right. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for it? I like you. It's Boyd, Lieutenant Boyd, to my friends. 
Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Hmm, <laughs> do you need any help? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. I, uh, it's a big deal, because don't they usually kill themselves? Better believe it. Everybody, everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Have you tried calling him hurtful names? Why don't you just beat him senseless? Uh, yeah, why don't you just beat him senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? <laughs> Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. Oh, Tandy. Here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. D Plus, for all this guy knows, Hang on. completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Okay, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get started. It's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Can I stand here looking creepy? Because this is actually glassy, you can't walk through here. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. You know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were going to give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Uh, she just taken all my all my weapons. Oh, I still got. Oh, uh, okay. I still got sleep. Why have I still got my frag grenades? That doesn't make any sense. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck? Oh my good god! Am I gonna have some fun with you? Uh oh! Now you've made me angry! <laughs> no. I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. I'm with the Legion. I'm here to kill you before you talk. <laughs> I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. Nah, see? You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. I 
don't know how this is going to go, actually. Um, yeah, you must, you must miss giving orders now that all your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. To have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. I think something's going wrong here because the speech is like da da da, -da and then it goes to question mark. So I'm not sure this is working. Oh. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Let's fucking go then, pal. Get away from me. Mate, I'll fuck you up. Whoa, hmm. easy there. You're supposed to rough him up a little, not kill him. You like that? Why don't you step outside a minute? Let off some steam. Nice job. I'm not going to kill him, but I am going to mess his face up. ED, no. Come on. Right, I'm going to step outside for a minute. I think my friend doesn't like you, Silus. I don't know how much longer I can keep her under control. You think this will make me talk? A beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Silus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Silus. Impossible to forget. Go to hell. Huh. Not the sort of wit I've come to expect from you, Silus. You're getting nothing from me. I'm getting entertainment. That's something. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna spill your guts to me? Or am I gonna let my friend the maniac back in here for some playtime? <laughs> Come on back in. I think he misses you. Oh, and let me check you for weapons one more time. For your safety as well as his. You hit like a bedridden old woman. Yeah, <laughs> lucky you. You can borrow my dentures when I knock all your teeth out. Take more than that to get me to talk, worm. Mm. You can borrow my dentures, see? Nah. Can I vats him out? Yeah, I can. Oh, but it's it's full body. Okay. You punch a man in the face while you're wearing body armor, he's going to explode through the wall. Can I, can I crouch? Can I, there we go. I get some body blows on him. Come on. Oh, you can do power attacks as well, can't you? Why doesn't he fight back? Why is he not fighting back? And then bang up a cart, bang up a cart, bang up a cart. I don't know how Arcade's gonna feel about this. Just beating up like prisoners of war and that. Oh well. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Silas. Really, really, bro. Come on now. Enough, this is pointless. I'm dead to the Legion either way, I'll tell you what I know. But you should know that Kaisar has always kept his own counsel. He never reveals anything that would make him vulnerable. My knowledge will not prevent the inevitable. This camp will be ash within months. Maybe weeks. I'll be the judge of that. Let's hear what you got to say. Something is wrong with Kaisar. Something he is attempting to hide from his men. But it was obvious before we set out on this last mission. For three days, we awaited his order to dispatch us. Three days. But he hid in his tent, refusing to give orders, complaining of headaches. He looks different now than he used to. His face is sunken, sickly. But any questioning of his health enrages him. 
There must be more you can tell me. There is one other thing that may interest you. I know the Kaisar has planted a spy here. Every night, details of NCR troop movements are broadcast from a radio on this base to Kaisar's camp. The spy has been here a long time, since before the entire conflict began. He's an officer. If I knew who he was, I would tell you. If I escape and he's alive to report it, the Legion would hunt me down. But like I said, none of this information will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. Hmm. That is all yours, Boyd. That was fun to watch. I'd have you do it again, but I'd probably get in trouble. This will do the NCR a lot of good, so you should be proud. Here's the standard fee. Plus, I threw in the price of a good show on the strip. That's from me personally. You can beat up my prisoners anytime. Awesome! Yep, see you around. Oh, Boyd, me and you. Me and you could be close friends, I feel. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Right, guys, I think. Uh, oh, what the fuck is all this? Why is there never. Oh! Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. If you want to see how many uh, Sunset Sesperilla read he's got on her. Yeah, that's right, 131! Um, in fact, I've probably got some more to give her, really. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, before we, uh, before I end this episode, I'm going to have a quick uh, scout around. Oh, are these cells? Excellent. Military police confiscated goods trunk. Okay. There's the Kong Hall. So we got a, next episode, we've got to find out that spy. How can you steal from a garbage can? That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, I've never actually, uh... I've never walked around this front side of the concourse before. Dean Domino, what a dick. What's this, baseball glove? Packets of cigarettes. Am I in any danger of finding some forceps? Suitcase. Garbage can. So this is Boyd's office over here, is it? That's cool. Oh, how cool is that? You can hear the monorail pulling in and out, or monorail type noises. You don't want to go around there unless you're like super NCR. Loaded? Don't take chances with pickups. Loose women may also be loaded with disease. Oh, great, thanks! Oh. That's down here. I don't think you can go down there either until you're like super NCR. But I could be wrong. We may have to later on. But uh yeah. Hey. hey. Let's go see if that mission has had any effect on this guy over here. And then if not, then we're not worried about it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. My ears starting to ache actually. Headphones, sort yourself out. Right, this dude, hello. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. Thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Oh nice, NCR safe house key. I thought you had to do loads for that. Oh crazy. Oh well let's let's go quickly check that out then. And then we'll do the uh the spy mission next episode. Right. Where's the NCR safe house? Where did he say it was west? Um. Where's the... NCR Ranger Safe House. We haven't even been there yet. No way. I seem to remember this place being full of uh, 
Well, that's that little section between there and uh, Sloan being full of death claws. So let's let's be careful about this. And if there are death claws about, they're gonna get a fucking headache. I will tell you that for nothing. Frag grenades would take. I don't think I've ever been to the NCR safe house before. I think, uh, I think I sort of, I, I know about the uh, spy missions and that. I know about that sort of dealio. But I was always more concerned with going to the NCR place in, let's cycle around the outside, within the strip, because I think that's where one of their main, their, that's where one of the main guys is, the guy on the strip. I think, oh, I can't remember what his name, but you've got Ranger Jackson from the outpost up north, or up south, uh, southwest on the map, and then you've got those guys at Camp McCarrot. Let's see, there's a death claw. Got him. Here we go. How many shots with an anti material rifle? Jesus. I might have fatched this one out actually, to be honest with you. Where are you? Come at me, bro. Oh. Here we go. This guy's an idiot. Oh yeah, trust that to be the time when I need to reload. Oh my god, 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 you're dead! Come on, arcade. What the fuck is that out there? Oh. There are enemies in this area, so we need to be careful. Why is the NCR safe house, like, located basically in Deathclaw territory? That's so dumb. And in fact, do I have to navigate around the outside of this? Yeah, I kind of do, eh? Damn it. Nice work, NCR. I can't believe they put their fucking safe house right in, like, the middle of Deathclaw territory. This is so dumb. Gotcha. You can reload while the slow motion's going off as well, which is uh, quite handy. I don't know why it didn't work then. You can also skip the uh, slowdown by pressing A. Every day is a school day. What is the condition on this gun? Have I, have I knackered it already? No, it's perfect. Maybe more headshots are in order. Right. I'd like to go up, but I'm assuming we're going to have to go down and around. Oh, nice work, Arcade. You just dropped down. Good on you. So I think that's Sloan over there. Possibly, but I could be wrong. Oh. Nope. Anyone down there? There is not. Okay, so it's not it's not a hundred percent death claw. Oh, it might be, you know. Shit. Headshot. All right, so that takes him down to two health. To be honest with you, Arcade could probably do him with the rest of his uh, laser slash plasma weaponry. And I can't believe we fired two shots off against these bastards, and neither of them, like, skip it, yeah, nice. Neither of them even bothered to say, oh, look, or neither of these uh, were like, oh, let's go looking for him. I still had my hidden skill up. Ah, oh, come on, man. 
That was definitely a miss. And that was also definitely a miss. Just take it easy. Take five fucking seconds. Oh, come on. There you go. I'm going to have to clear a lot of these uh, death claws out at some point because there's a... Uh, I'm pretty sure in the uh, in the Deathclaw areas there's rarer loot, so... Oh, have I got a caution on? There ain't even no one on my... Oh! Okay. Where are you going, Arcade? You look like you're running ahead of me, mate. You need to be careful, bro. Oh, there he is. He's not much of a threat, so we're just going to leave him for now. If he becomes a problem, then I'll take him down. But for now, he just seems to be walking about. The other ones, they were sort of in our pathway a little bit. Fair enough, I probably could have avoided them as well. But it is what it is, unfortunately. All right, let me through, tree. I'm a god tree. Well, I won't lie. The experience is looking uh, a tad delicious at this point. No, let's just ignore him. Ah, oh, so the safe house is sort of in between all these rocks and everything. So maybe they are kind of secluded from the death claws. I doubt it, though. This place looks ropey as fuck. There is a pathway, though, which speaks to uh, it possibly being safe from death claws. Okay, and it's in a secluded... Uh, is this just the ranger's safe house as well? So there might be another one for just troopers and stuff like that. Okay, this is kind of cool. It's like a little lamplight. I wasn't expecting this. Whoa! Oh. Is that NCR recovered power armor? Yeah, I've been looking for that stuff for ages. Excellent. And we get ranger outfits. Ugh. Oh. Trail carbine, assault carbine, hunting revolver, 50 mil surplus. Okay, the NCR safe house is almost rivaling the uh, say of the uh, followers of the apocalypse and the Brotherhood of Steel safe house. This is awesome. Nothing in the lockers. There's some books about, which is handy. And then what's this last one up here? That's power. Okay. Oh, well, this is very, 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 very cool. I like this. Pack of cigarettes. Yeah, da, 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 da. This, this is important, though. This salvage power armor. That's really important, because you can wear that without uh, any power armor training, either. And this is kind of cool, as well. The uh, ranger helmet and ranger armor. Very, very cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. All the best. Bye-bye.